Sahaman back with another review. Today we are taking a look at the Loyal Subjects Flocked Spider Pennywise the Clown Giant Spider based off of the 1990 film. Now this came out a few years ago. I did a review on this. It's, these came in like blind bags or blind boxes. I believe some were Hot Topic exclusives and other were just retailed. Uh, you can find them at FYE. I think you can still find them at FYE for clearance. So this is the card that, if, I don't know if you guys remember this, but here is some of the figures. I don't know what this one in particular was exclusive to because I'm going to tell you a, a story. So when these first got announced, I, for, I don't know if it was Toy Fair or what a few years back, I remember them showing the prototypes to these and there was a flocked spider. And I never saw it ever since because hold on a second here, guys. Let me go ahead and show you. This is the regular version right here. This one here. Um, there is issues with these figures. I'll, I'll tell you in a second. But this was the regular one right there. Uh, it wasn't really movie accurate as far as the colors go. And then there's also a glow in the dark exclusive. So you get this one and a glow in the dark exclusive. The same paint apps, but it glows in the dark. So the flocked one I had only seen in that convention video i never heard of it again and then just recently i found it and i bought it and i was like what the heck i thought this was just like a a prototype that never got made but apparently it did get made so if you guys have any more information on what this was exclusive to because i don't remember them being a glow in the dark freddy a glow in the dark jason so those were two that i had never seen before i don't know what this was exclusive to again guys you guys can school me on it but this is one out of 48 and it's more it's more so movie accurate to the film as far as the color schemes go. I mean, it's obviously black with a little bit of blue. Now, one thing about these figures, they do not stay in place. It took me almost an hour to get everything together. I'm not going to lie. Even when I got it together, they would fall apart the legs and the arms. So I had to super glue it in place. I had to do that because it just wouldn't stay. It would not stay at all. And you can see like with this one right here. I mean, this one stays a little bit better. I don't know if it's, you see, they fall right off. I don't know if it's because it's flocked that it doesn't stay in place. I am not too sure the reason why, but it's, it's, it's really, see, look at that. See how easy they fall off, but it's really frustrating to, you know, as a collector, when you buy these, these, these are not cheap either. They're like $12 in box. I mean, I had to pay a few dollars more to get these flocked ones, but you can see the colors on this one here. Again, it's not accurate to the film. I'm gonna bring the flocked one in a little bit closer just so you guys can take a look at it. Uh, you can see how great it looks. Now the flocked material is actually really nice. It makes the figure stand out a whole lot better and he's got the red eyes, which I'm not sure if he had red eyes in the film. I don't think he did. This one is a lot more movie accurate as far as the colors go because I think it was more of a gray color in the film. And you can see the top right here, how it's flocked. And then the part on the butt, I got to be careful with them because I don't know if this is going to fall apart. But you can see this, the flocked right there is falling apart. But the flocked material is very, very nice. There's the bottom of them here. And then the hands are blue. The head sculpt is flocked as well. You can see the black pupils, but it's also a blue color. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, if you guys have, have ever seen this before, because again, I had never seen it up until recently. And on eBay, there was only one or two of them available. And there was another guy, I think he was asking like 80 bucks for this, which is, I'm, I was not going to pay for that price for this. So these are the two that you get. This is the only company that has made the Pennywise Spider from the 1990 miniseries. So there's a little bit of a comparison right there. Let's do another comparison with another Spider Pennywise. Damn it, hell. And what you're looking at here is from QFig Quantum Mechanics. This is the Spider Pennywise from the 2017, or actually it chapter two film. The only company that has ever tackled the spider form in newer films. So Loyal Subjects did theirs first for the miniseries and Quantum Mechanics did theirs first for the newer or for the reboot, if you will. So I just wanted to do a quick little video on this and I just want to share it with you guys because I thought it was cool. And I know there's a lot of Pennywise fans on the channel and I actually really like this. I think this is a great addition to the It collection and it really looks like a, uh, like a, like a real big spider. It looks real. Uh, I love the head sculpt. I, I'm not going to lie. I like the blue flock. I think it looks really, really cool, but the flock definitely stands out on this. Um, I have somebody who wants to hook me up with a 
glow-in-the-dark version of this guy here. Now, again, I did a review on this a while ago. I did unboxings on these when they first came out. So, yeah, I just figured I'd share that with you guys. If you guys own any of the loyal subjects, the horror... What is it? The Horror Collector Pack is what they called it. Let me know in the comments below if you own any of these. Oh, I didn't show you the front of it. This is the front of the card. So you can see it's a shape-shifting entity of evil, evil millions of years old. Did I read that right? Who knows? But there is an image right there. It does look a little different on the card because it doesn't have any blue on it. It's completely black with gray. The arms are gray and the head sculpt's completely black. The actual figure has blue on it, but either way, I'm not going to lie, it's still freaking awesome. So let me know in the comments below if you've seen this before or if you ever knew about the flocked version or if you even own it or if you own any of the other Pennywise loyal subject spiders. Let me know in the comments down below. If you own the glow in the dark one, guys, let me know how well it glows in the dark because I really want to get the glow in the dark one. Um, it's going to be a trade, so let me know how good the glow in the dark one is. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Just wanted to share this with you. Thumbs up. We'll see you soon. Later. Don't believe. Awesome. Let's see. Who's going to kill you? Subscribe.